It could have been deadly. Shocking video tonight of that crash on the Brent Spence Bridge. Take a look as this semi swerves across the southbound lanes, forcing a sedan to flip off the upper deck to the lower deck. The entire accident caught on camera. You may recall this accident Saturday involved eight cars. It hurt six people and shut down the bridge for hours. This new video reminding drivers and first responders of how dangerous this bridge can be. Nine on your side's Jason Law asked them why they feel this bridge is so dangerous. Jason? Well, Carol, this new video certainly offers clues as to what exactly happened Saturday afternoon, and it also renews the passion in people who feel that this bridge is not safe and needs to be replaced immediately. Even from a distance, the crash Saturday afternoon is chilling. A traffic camera recorded the semi truck suddenly turn left to avoid an accident. That caused a small car to careen off the Brent Spence Bridge, crashing onto the lower deck. I pray for people like that. I really do. Joe Jenkins has driven big rigs for 31 years. He's never been in an accident, but has seen plenty. You can see the car coming in right there with his lights on. Jenkins is now teaching truck driving at the Ohio Business College. What is it about the bridge that makes it so dangerous and so scary? The confined space across the bridge and the narrowness of the lanes. Thursday, former Covington Fire Chief Buddy Wheatley wrote in an editorial for the Cincinnati Enquirer, the bridge was more dangerous than a burning building. To this day, I consider responses to that bridge the most dangerous work I did in 20 years as a Covington firefighter. Nine of your side spoke with the director of the Ohio Department of Transportation, Jerry Ray. We have not stopped uh, with our uh, emphasis on the need to replace the bridge and get a new bridge. On a scale like 1 to 10, how dangerous do you think it is? Uh, probably about 8. We've been saying it for five days now. It is incredible, and even more so looking at that video, that no one was killed Saturday afternoon in that accident. Six people were hurt and taken to the hospital. All of them are expected to survive. We're live. Jason Law, 9 on your side.